place really is a maze. Hallways, stairs going up, going down, that breakaway. Whoa, it's pretty cool. How many meters, Audrey? Four. Four. You're <laughs> inside a submarine. Wow. First, wow. first time for that. So good. And the wine is also here. Okay. We're here. We're here, wow. Good morning, good morning guys! Good morning! Greetings from Kajao! Yes, today yeah. we are taking you on a little day trip. So we drove about one hour north of Lima. We're currently in the province of Kadao and we're going to be spending the day in a district called La Punta. But our first stop of the day is the fortress Real Felipe. We're going to be doing a little tour here on our own because yep. we all know Sam is not a fan of guided tours. Well, it's not good for <laughs> filming, obviously, when you have someone talking the whole time. So. But we'll be teaching you some history along the way, don't worry. Yeah. And yeah, we're, we are with my cousin and her boyfriend, the four of us together. So it'll be fun and let's go check out this cool fortress that yeah. apparently used to guard the city from pirates. Let's do it. To give you a bit more information, this fortress was built during the Viceroyalty of Peru when Gadao was the main port of the Americas and connected the colonies with Spain. At that time, there was a threat of pirates and corsairs, and in fact, due to inadequate defenses, several pirate attacks did take place. When in 1746, a powerful earthquake and a tsunami that followed destroyed most of the existing defenses, the Viceroy ordered this fortress to be built and this would become one of Spain's most important constructions in the New World. So, I don't know how well you can see, but we are in the port area of Gadao. You can see a few boats off in the distance. Hopefully, Sam's camera is able to capture that a little bit better. And also, we have a whole bunch of cannons all along the fortress pointing out to sea because this was a defensive fortification and yeah, apparently they needed to defend against pirates back in the day. So, pretty cool spot. We're about to go inside one of the towers now. So we'll bring you along and show you what's in there. Um, my cousin and her boyfriend have both been here before when they were younger as part of like school field trips. And they said it's a bit of a maze in there. So, excited to see what it's like. This place really is a maze. They have so many little like paths hallways, stairs going up, going down, that breakaway. Whoa, it's pretty cool. But yeah, whenever they were under attack, they would like shut the fortress completely down. They had all the food and water they needed and they would try and outlast as long as they could. Ahí hay dos distintas entradas. Entra para allá. Ahora 
there's the port. Super steep stairs going down. We are in like a narrow little tunnel that's maybe half a meter wide, super creepy, all black. You need um, the light on your phone to even see anything in here. Super, super creepy. <laughs> all right, we just learned something. Samuel, what is this? This is absolutely fascinating. So family friend Georgie was telling us that this right here is a listening hole that could have been used. You could hear the conversations of the prisoners. So yeah, they were not having any kind of privacy whatsoever. No secrets. No secrets. At the end of our visit, we went inside the Peruvian Army Museum, which has one section dedicated to the Incas and their art and culture, and another one showcasing historical uniforms, weapons, and other military paraphernalia. Our adventure has ended. What a what a great um, self-guided tour. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it. So I'll first start off with the price point. It is 20 soles, so just slightly over five US dollars. I'd say we spent almost two hours there. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to cover on foot. A lot of spooky tunnels. Yeah, there's spooky tunnels. There's incredible vantage points. Like you really get the sense of how this was a, a military fortification site. And um, you also get some great views of the port. So yeah, I would highly recommend coming here. This is an easy, easy day trip from Lima to come and visit this historical site. And we're not even done. We're gonna go visit some other places and also have a meal. So uh, hope you'll stay, hope you'll stick around for that. So yeah, you can get here by taxi or you can also organize a tour. It might be a little bit far for public transportation, but it was really cool to visit. Really enjoyed it. And it is almost lunchtime. We're going for Italian very, very soon. We've got it's a reservation. It's exciting. I skipped breakfast for it, so, so I'm ready. We're ready. I'm ready. Next, we walked around some of the side streets just outside the fortress. As you can see, this is a historic area that has kind of been overlooked and neglected for a long time, but slowly certain areas are starting to come back to life, even if it's just one street at a time. Our first stop was Zona Monumental del Callao. This is a colorful up-and-coming area featuring lots of street art, independent shops and restaurants.
es un vestidito. Oh, 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 okay. oh besos. Muchos besos. Besos. Here, you can hold this so I can pet her. That's all you get. The glass-covered gallery, formerly known as Casa Ronald, is now an art hub featuring various exhibitions ranging from photography to murals and sculptures. spotted a submarine so we took a small detour to check that out before going to lunch because I mean how often do you get the chance to explore a submarine up close and personal How many meters, Audrey? Four. Four. Awesome. <laughs> Muy bien, Luciana. Muy bien, Samuel. You can do it. Sí. Despacito, despacito. Remember, I only have one shoulder. You're almost there. See? No. It's not so bad because you can just push against the wall. You know? There's no wall down here. Yeah, there is no wall. The wall ends. <laughs> Here's the wall end. There you go. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> You're inside a submarine. Wow. First, wow. first time for that. That's pretty amazing. And right now, we are doing a tour. We're going to go through six compartments. This submarine can carry up to 12 torpedoes. And yeah, here we are. Never been inside a submarine before. This is kind of cool. Kind of claustrophobic, isn't it? It feels claustrophobic to you? No, not really. I mean, it's extremely, it's quite narrow, but I, I'm, I, the hardest part for me was actually going down because oh, yeah. I only have one, one good shoulder at the moment. I've injured this one. And also I don't like heights, so yeah. it was a double whammy. Double whammy. Ooh, this is like the movie. Das Boot. That's the immersion wow. To give you a bit more information, this was one of four submarines for the Peruvian Navy that were constructed in the United States based on the US Navy's Mackerel class submarines. 
These were the last submarines constructed by the US for the export market. Amtau served for 48 years in the Navy and made 5,003 dives. It was decommissioned in 1999 and in 2004 it became the first floating museum in Latin America. So here we have the, the bunk beds, triple bunks, and I will admit it does feel a little tiny bit claustrophobic here because you do have to squeeze through very small spaces, but I think you can do it. Unless you really don't like tight spaces, then don't climb down and don't come down here, but I managed, so. Careful with your head. Yeah. That was an awesome experience. So much, so much fun. We are late for our lunch reservation, but I'd say it was worth it. For lunch, we went to Tadera Razzetto. This is an Italian restaurant and because our relatives are friends with the owners, we first visited with them and met their lovely cat. <laughs> Hello, Leggero Galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. No più vrai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma. So, we got a little snacking board, pecking platter. Comes with a little breadstick, some melted bubbling cheese with pesto, walnuts, cherry tomatoes. It was bubbling a few seconds ago, like the cheese was boiling. Wow. It just came out of the oven, so you gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Sam is claiming his piece of bread before it disappears. The, the, the hungry cameraman, the lonely, the lonely cameraman. It's good? Love it. Love it, huh? Delicious I mean, pesto. I haven't flavor. even started with the mains or possibly even dessert yet. Mm. So, good stuff coming. All right. So, I got the prosciutto pizza. It's got a mountain of prosciutto. It also has arugula, it has cheese, and of course, tomato sauce. So, look, it's already been pre sliced. Beautiful Italian style pizza. Look at that. Wow. That's the real deal. That's authentic Italian food. It feels like we could be eating this in, uh, in Italy. For my pasta, I got the spaghetti alla puttanesca. That is my favorite sauce. It comes with anchovies, capers, it's got garlic, it's a tomato base and it's just so so delicious if you like a little bit of a spicy sauce this is the right one i've already sprayed tomato sauce on my shirt but that's just how it goes at an italian restaurant so here we go so good and the wine is also here I need some red wine for a pasta cheers. pizza dinner so cheers for dessert, we tried a few different desserts, including the pecan pie, the Nutella cheesecake, and the homemade tiramisu. All 
Alrighty guys. Alrighty guys. We just left the restaurant. What a day. This was like, this kind of reminded me of how much fun travel could be. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, two children just collided yeah. in front of us. Um, yeah, we had a really good time. Super fun day. This is a part of Lima. Actually, it's outside of Lima. This is a part of Cadao that we had never been to. Yeah. So it was really cool to see something new, explore, feel like tourists because we haven't yes. really left the neighborhood much lately. I feel like this is the first like real authentic travel day we've had since we've mm -hmm. been in Peru. Like we've kind of just stuck to familiar areas and we got out of our comfort zone. Not so much our comfort zone, but we just went somewhere new. Oh wow. <laughs> Those children yeah. on scooters. Got run That's over a, on a scooter. But um, just enjoyed everything. Uh, the highlight for me was, well, the submarine was just amazing. Oh. Yeah. Wow, I've been on a few, I've been fortunate to go on a few different ships and yes, never a submarine. Never before. that one though. But I mean, yeah, yeah, we're like under the water and just crawling, mm -hmm. crawling down on that ladder. It's fascinating. It's fascinating to see how confined you are. Like, yes. it's vertically long but horizontally challenged. Obviously. Yeah, we don't want to be stuck in one of those <laughs> no, for a you while. No, you wouldn't. I, I, it, it felt a tiny bit claustrophobic. Yeah. Um, and the, the Italian food and just the hospitality. Getting to meet with the with the family who runs the restaurant. Yeah. Um, childhood friends of our of our uncle. Yeah. And so we got got to go up into the house and meet the, meet the pets and have delicious authentic Italian food and just overall a phenomenal day I'd say. And let's do price point before we forget because yeah. I know you guys always ask for prices. Yeah. My dish was thirty eight soles. Your was yours was forty. Yeah. So let's do some math yeah, here. Yeah, it's like mine was about ten bucks. Yeah, so, around yeah. the ten. Dollar mark exactly. exactly Outstanding value when you think it was like really high quality, authentic style Italian food. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. Also, just love the area we're strolling by here yes. and um, beautiful boardwalk on the promenade. The sun's coming down. Mm -hmm. Love it here. Really like this area. In fact, um, just very impressed overall and. Uh, it's a great day, so hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you very soon with more videos. Yeah, toodles.